How to build a bug trap. Outdoor pests making your skin crawl? Make a wind tunnel to trap bugs and ruin their best laid plans. You will need a four inch diameter coffee can, a can opener, a ruler, a felt tip pen, metal shears, a screwdriver, a small motor, super glue, a light socket, a blue light bulb, a ruler, perforated hanger iron, a lamp cord, scissors, wire strippers, electrical tape, a clean empty plastic jug, an electric drill and drill bits, a hook eye, five nuts, four three quarter inch bolts, pantyhose, and rubber bands. Optional, a small desk fan or a record player. Step one, remove the bottom lid of a coffee can with the can opener. On the lid, draw the outline of a double fan blade measuring three inches across. Step two, cut out the blade with metal shears. Then, punch a small hole in the center with a screwdriver. Step three, slide the blades onto the shaft of a 10 to 20 watt, 120 volt AC motor that runs at 1500 to 3000 RPM. Secure the blade to the shaft with super glue and bend each end at a downward pitch of 30 to 45 degrees, so the motor's rotation causes downward airflow. You can find a usable motor in most small desk fans or old record players. Step four, screw the bulb into the socket and place it on a flat surface opposite the motor with a half inch to one inch between the bulb and the blades. Measure the distance from the socket's bottom to the motor's base. Double this distance and add seven inches. Then, cut a piece of hanger iron measuring the total length to act as a bracket. Step five, bend the iron at right angles to form a rectangle with the two vertical sides separated by four inches. Using the motor's original screws, screw the ends of the hanger iron to either side of the bottom of the motor space. Make sure the blade clears the bracket on either side. Step six, cut a one foot length of lamp cord and set aside the piece with the prongs. Strip both ends of the one foot cord and attach one side to the motor's wires, covering any exposed wires with electrical tape. Tape the cord along the interior of the hanger iron bracket. Step seven, to make the light cover, Cut off the bottom of a 5 inch diameter plastic jug at a height that exposes 1.5 to 2 inches of the bulb. Place the socket on the cover and mark two holes for bolts. Mark a third hole in the center and a fourth close to the edge for the lamp cord with prongs. Step 8. Drill the four holes in the cover. Then slide 12 inches of the lamp cord with prongs through its hole in the cover. Strip the cord's end, separate the wires, and touch one to each of the socket's hot terminals. Step 9. Touch the wires from the piece of the lamp cord that's taped to the bracket to the hot terminals to form a circuit between the motor, socket, and wall. Tighten the wires against the terminals with a screwdriver. Step 10. Place a hook eye in the cover's center hole, securing it with a nut. Then put a 3 quarter inch bolt in each of the two holes on either side. Place the bracket and socket inside the cover, sliding them over the bolts and securing each bolt with a nut. Screw in the bulb. Step 11. Slide the coffee can over the motor so the blades are now an inch below the rim. Make holes on opposite sides of the coffee can just above the blades. Place a 3 quarter inch bolt in each hole and fasten the bracket to the coffee can, securing each bolt with a nut. Be sure that the bolts and nuts do not prevent the blade from turning. Step 12. Cut an 18 inch long section of a leg of undamaged pantyhose. Turn it inside out and tie a knot at one end. Slip the other end over the bottom of the coffee can and secure the nylon to the can with rubber bands. Then, hang the completed trap outside your home, plug in the prong from the lamp cord, and prepare for a pest-free summer. Did you know? In 2007, British scientists discovered fossilized remains of a bug, the giant sea scorpion, which measured 8 feet long.